Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the topic permeation grouting. Before that, we need to know what is grouting. Grouting is a process of ground improvement attained by injecting fluid-like material into the subsurface, soil or rock. Grouting involves the injection of a pumpable material to fill the voids between soil grain in order to strengthen the soil mass or to reduce its permeability. There are many grouting methods. Permeation grouting, compaction grouting, jet grouting, soil fracture grouting, circuit grouting, point grouting, electrokinetic injection. The first one is the permeation grouting. If the grout material can be filled the voids between the soil particle without appreciable movement of the surrounding material, thus the process is referred to as permeation grouting. This technique is generally used to reduce the permeability or to strengthen and stiffen the ground. It can be used to control the ground water during excavations. Permeation grouting fills the cracks or the voids in the soil and rock and permeates granular soil with the flowable grout to create a cement mass. Commonly, a cement or a chemical based grout is used. Sand with low finest content are best suited for this technique. Permeation grouting can be applied to strengthen or solidify sands and gravels, repairing structural and rock formation, reduces the low Flow of groundwater, stabilize soil for tunneling. The procedure for permeation grouting or the process involved in permeation grouting. The grout can be mixed in batches or stream mixed. Typically a slip pot pipe is used. This is the overview of a slip pot pipe. A PVC or a steel pipe with a holes located at a regular interval. A thing Rubber membrane is placed over each pot. The rig drill hole in the soil fills it with a weak or brittle Portland cement grout and insert the sleep pot pipe. After the weak grout has hardened, a grout injection pipe with two packers is inserted into the sleep pot pipe, allowing the grout to be injected through one pot at a time. The injection pipe is then raised or lowered to another port and the process repeated. As we can see that permeation grouting can typically accomplished with the sleeve port pipe. This is the sleeve port pipe. A low viscosity grout is injected through the injection pipe into the pores of the granular soils without changing the soil structure. Thus, the cracks and fissures are filled with that mass or the slurry and without changing the soil structure, the ground is modified by hardening the grout. Here, in this house, there are several cracks beneath the surface. The ground is not yet modified perfectly. So, a hole is drilled at the surface and uh, through the injection and the sleeve port pipe, the grout is injected and the, uh, the pores and fissures are filled with the grout and the building and the surrounding is perfectly modified. So, permeation grouting can be typically accomplished with a sleeve port pipe. The injection of a low viscosity grout into the port pipe and uh, which is then injected by the injection tube into the pores of the granular soil. Usually, uh, silicate or polyethane grouting materials are used. So, the characteristics of the ground are modified with the hardening of the grout. Permeation grouting is used either to increase or strengthen the soil. Next is the advantages of permeation grouting. Minimum disturbance to the structure and the surrounding ground. Minimum risk during construction. Do not affect the groundwater. Supports all portions of the structure. Disadvantages of permeation grouting are Grouting adjacent to unsupported slope may be ineffective. Not suitable in decomposable material. 
danger of filling underground pipes with ground effectiveness questionable in saturated clay these are the major advantages and disadvantages of permeation grounding thank you